Most people have an idea of what they believe it will take to be accepted by God. After all, who likes the idea of exiting this life without being on good terms with Him? Thankfully, it's possible to be certain that you've made peace with God. But the way must be chosen during this life. Here are the steps drawn from God's book, the Bible. Step 1. Understand God's purposes, peace, and eternal life. God loves you and wants you to experience peace and eternal, fulfilling life. The Bible says, We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John chapter 10, verse 10. Why don't most people have this peace and the fulfilling, abundant life that God intended for us to have? Step 2. Admit the problem, our sin and separation. God did not create us like robots to automatically love and mechanically obey Him. God gave us a will and the freedom to choose. The first man and woman chose to disobey God and go their own willful way, and we still make that choice today. This result in separation from God. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. People have tried many ways to bridge this gap between themselves and God. The Bible says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. No bridge reaches God, except one. Step 3. Discover God's bridge, the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the grave. Though He was God's sinless Son, He became a human, took our place, and paid the penalty for our sin, bridging the gap between God and us. The Bible says, For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 Christ suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that He might bring us to God. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 God shows His love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 5, verse 8, and chapter 3, verse 23. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 through 4. God has provided the only way to forgiveness of sin and eternal life, but each person must make a choice. Step 4. Embrace the truth. Receive Christ. We must trust Jesus Christ as our Savior and receive Him by personal choice. Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him, and he with me. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6 The Bible says, To all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John chapter 1, verse 12 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 36. What is your decision? Will you receive Jesus Christ right now and trust in Him alone for forgiveness and eternal life? The Bible says that's the only way to find peace with God. Admit your need, that you are a sinner in need of God's forgiveness. Be willing to turn from trusting in anything else for eternal life 
and trust only in Christ. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross, came back to life from the grave, and is your only way to heaven. Accept Jesus' offer to forgive your sins and come into your life as your Savior. You may want to tell him in words like these, Dear Jesus, thank you for making it possible for me to find peace with God. I believe that when you died, you were paying the penalty for my sins. I now receive you into my life as my Savior, so I can have forgiveness and never-ending life from God. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for listening to this recording of Steps to Peace with God by Billy Graham. This tract was read by Adam Verner.